Hello and welcome to this video lecture series on digital communication. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss DPSK. DPSK is differential phase shift key. In the previous lecture, we discussed about BPSK, where we discussed its disadvantage that we don't have non-coherent receiver in that. So, to overcome that disadvantage, we have DPSK. So, in DPSK, we have non-coherent detection as well. So, let's begin our discussion for DPSK. So, in this session, we'll begin our discussion with the basic understanding about DPSK with the help of an example where we'll see the transmission and the reception of that example. So, after that, we'll discuss the block diagram of the transmitter and after that, we'll discuss the block diagram of the receiver and at the end, we'll discuss the advantages, disadvantages and bandwidth. So, let's begin our discussion with the basic definition of DPSK. So, DPSK is the non-coherent mode of BPSK where the output bit in the encoded signal will depend upon the previous bit as well. So, let's take an example and with the help of the example, we'll understand what is DPSK. So, we'll take the digital bits. So, let's suppose this is our data. So, we know that in PSK, we require polar NRZ representation of the digital data. So, if I make the polar NRZ representation, so in polar NRZ representation, the 1 is represented with positive VCC and 0 is represented with negative VCC. So, this is the polar NRZ line encoding of the digital data. So, now the basic rule behind the DPSK is when we have 0, we have transition and if the previous bit is 1, there would be no transition. So, Let's understand this with the help of this example. So, we can have active high or active low as the first bit. So, I'll discuss it with the help of both active high as well as active low. So, first I am taking active high. So, when I took active high, my initial bit was 1. So, I'll see the previous bit. If it is 1, there would be no transition. So, the first bit is 1. 1 means no transition. So, 1 would continue as it is. There would be no transition in this one. So, now next bit is 0. 0 means transition. So, 1 is transit to 0. So, now again next bit is 1. 1 means no transition. So, 0 remains as it is. Again 1, no transition, 0. So, now we have 0. 0 means transition. Transition means 0 becomes 1. Again we have 0 means transition. 1 becomes 0. So, now again we have 1. 1 means no transition. So, 0 remains as it is. Again 0 which means transition. So, now I hope you remember in PSK if we have 1. 1 was represented by cos omega ct carrier. Whereas when I have 0, 0 was represented by minus cos omega ct so, which means minus cos omega ct means cos omega ct plus pi. So, here I have plus 0. So, here the phase was 0, here the phase was pi. So, 1 was represented with the phase of 0 and 0 was represented with the phase of pi. So, let's represent all of them with their phase. So, 1 with the phase of 0, 0. So, now our next thing would be the shifting of bits. So, we'll shift our bits in accordance to the previous bits. So, we'll shift our bits by one position. So, now all these bits are shifted by one position. 
again i will write down the phase of the shifted bits so now we will see the phase and according to the phase i will find out the output phase so in dpsk output phases are multiplied so if the output phases are same we'll get the positive phase at the output if the output phases are different so here we had 0 0 which were same so i wrote down positive here i had pi and 0 so i wrote i'll write down minus so pi pi which means positive if we have same phase i'll write down positive so i'll continue it till the last so now positive represents 1 and negative represents 0 so now i hope you can see we have this transmitted data which was 10110010 and the received data which is 10110010 so i hope now you can see that this data is equal to this data so now i hope you can see the transmitted data is received on the reception side so now this was the active high case we'll understand this with the help of active low case as well so when we have active low so i'll write down the basic rule here which means zero means transition so this was our digital data so if i'll start with active low one means no transition so active low remains as it is zero means transition so zero becomes one one means no transition so one one continues then zero zero means transition one becomes zero again zero means transition so zero becomes one one means no transition zero means transition so i'll write down the phase zero means pi one means zero now i'll shift the bits i'll write down the next phase so now i'll multiply the phases so i hope now you can see this was our transmitted data and this is our received data so the transmitted data is equal to the received data so now we'll understand the transmitting block diagram so we have our digital data which is converted to polar nrz line encoding scheme so after that it is encoded using the encoder which has the basic rule that at zero it has transition and at one it has no transition after that we'll supply the bit delay and after bit delay again it will encode so it was encoded with the so there was the data data was encoded with the basic rule that zero transition one no transition after that bit delay bit delay was also encoded so i hope now you can understand this with the help of this block diagram after that we'll send this with the help of the carrier cos omega ct and which is multiplied with the help of product modulator so now coming to the reception block diagram so we have st which is the transmitted signal st is the transmitted signal from the transmitter so after the channel it is received at the receiver input so it is multiplied with the bit delayed version also so this was the phase of the transmitted signal this was the phase of the uh, delayed version so these phases are multiplied so these are multiplied with the help of product modulator after that it is passed to the low pass filter where the high frequency carrier is removed so after that with the help of decision making device i can regenerate the signal decision making device tells me that it is one or zero 
and at the particular instant if it is 1 it regenerates the plus 1 pulse and if it is 0 it regenerates the 0 pulse. So now I hope you understand the transmitter and the receiver block diagram. Now we will see the bandwidth. So it is coded using polar line encoding scheme and the PSD of polar line encoding looks like this. So where the high frequency is FC plus FS and lower frequency is FC minus FS. So bandwidth is high frequency minus low frequency is equal to FC minus FC plus FS minus FC minus FS. So here I will get 2 FS. So FS is so now we are we know that at one bit duration we are sending the present bit as well as the previous bit. So TS is equal to 2 TB. So I can say the bandwidth is FB. So from here I got to know we have saved the bandwidth. So in advantages I can Bandwidth is reduced plus it is non-coherent mode so there is no need of using oscillator at the receiver which makes the receiver price efficient. So, so now coming to the disadvantages. So the very first disadvantage of DPSK is that it has high probability of error. And I know that in DPSK, I am sending the previous bit as well. So if any of the bit, if the present bit or the previous bit, any of the bit is altered, then that in total outcome, we have errors. So, so I hope now you understand DPSK and various things related to it, which I discussed here in this session. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends as well. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you.